So uh, you see that I use uh, some name that is a little bit different from uh, Steve yesterday, but uh, practically it's the same thing. Also, if we change, we start uh, from uh, general resistance. Uh, that is, uh, uh, the system is a continuous run, even paced, and is not uh, normally fast. And uh, uh, the second level, growing in the intensity, I call uh, aerobic resistance. After we go to basic aerobic endurance, special aerobic endurance, aerobic power, and we start to put intervals also for aerobic power. Lactic resistance, lactic capacity, lactic power, and the speed. One thing, I speak about lactic resistance and lactic capacity. Normally, if you go in a book of methodology, sometime also physiology, uh, there is a, is written resistance and capacity. Like uh, is the same thing, but it's not true. Under the methodological point of view, it's not true. Because the final physiological goal are different. The capacity is to stimulate our body in producing very much lactate in short time. This is capacity. The resistance is to teach to our body how to work with a high accumulation of lactate. So it's different. For giving an example, lactic capacity is connected with lactic power. Instead, lactic resistance, aerobic power, and special aerobic endurance are a part working, these three works for enhancing the lactic threshold. Instead, with this, you go down with the threshold. So we need to have the, the this is a, a support, a general support for what is important for the threshold, and this is important to maintain also when we go to the lactic capacity, with this system of balance that we have. For giving an idea, if for understanding the lactic power of one person, I ask to run one time for...